What about the infirmary, Quark? Did you find anything there? Yeah! We did find something. Just one thing, though. <laughs> Dio and Luna didn't tell you? Okay. I got it right here. Just a second. Seems a little hard to believe. Yes, it does. If it is true, then I worry about what might be happening to the world outside. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? You guys! Hurry! You need to come with me! Has something happened? Yes! I mean, sort of. I mean, we found something. What did you find? It's horrible. It's really scary. <laughs> oh, never mind. Just shut up and follow me. You'll understand when you see it. <laughs> it's right over here in the next room. Just follow me. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. We need to tell everybody! No, it's alright. Luna's out rounding them up. They should be here in just a few seconds. See? Where is it? Where's this bomb? See? 
doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort, not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. <laughs> Me, and, and Luna. We found it while we were searching this room. Well, yeah. We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. I can confirm that. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. You guys must have found it when you got here, then? Yes. How did you know it was a bomb? Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Why? Well, during my train... Clover! Anyway, this is definitely a bomb. I guarantee it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please. Just trust me. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. It's an antimatter bomb. Antimatter? Wait. You mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Oh, you know what that is? Anyway, yes, you're right. Uh, what's Annihil Nation? <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. Huh? Why? Well, your name is Quark. You do know what that means, right? Yeah. Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle, one of the smallest bits of matter but I don't really know anything else. I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? Me? Well, you know him best. I thought you could explain it best. Uh, let me think. Um, I don't know. It's hard to think of a way to explain it in simple terms. You want me to do it? Yes, please. Okay, to begin with, we usually refer to bits of matter as particles, but there are also these things called antiparticles. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. It has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. So, protons have antiprotons, and neutrons have antineutrons. Antimatter is a general term that covers all the antiparticles. The thing that's interesting about antimatter is that because it's the opposite of normal matter, when they collide, they both sort of cancel each other out. When they cancel each other out, though, it releases a whole bunch of energy. That process is called annihilation. So, an antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. Um, sorry. I don't really get it. Oh. All right, how about this? You've got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposites. What happens when you put them together? Um, well, if there were, uh, quantum men and women, then when you put them together, they disappear. Because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... I know! A baby! <laughs> exactly. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. That's kind of a strange explanation. You followed it, though, right? Yeah! Yeah, but that thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. 
Just how big of a... Uh, just how big of an explosion are we going to get here? It's pretty simple, actually. Just use Einstein's E equals mc squared. The mass lost during annihilation will be converted to energy, so... So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. That should get you the amount of energy. For example, let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. That would mean there would also be 350 milligrams of matter, right? So you'd have 700 milligrams total. Yes. That means annihilation would produce roughly 63 trillion joules. That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. What the? You've got to be kidding me. But there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. That's not the point! We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds! Don't get so excited. I think I know what kind of bomb this is. It's probably using anti-hydrogen. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? What does that mean? About as much explosive power as one ton of TNT. A ton? Yes. Well, approximately. And how exactly should I not worry about that? That's enough to blow up a 10-story building! True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. We don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Perhaps. But how do we know this is the only bomb? What do you mean? Look at it carefully. It's got a number three. Do you see it? If the bombs are numbered... Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb, either. There could be a fourth, or a fifth, or... Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. Somewhere. No! Don't touch it! What the hell do you think you're doing? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now. Until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb that is probably gonna kill us all? There's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Well, there is a way. Then spill the beans, lady. How do we turn the damn thing off? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. Yes, that's right. Look again. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. Who would do something like this? I have no idea. But we can figure out when they did it. When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left.
I don't know about that. After we finished the AB game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... Oh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. <sighs> yeah. Anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. You know, I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. What were you doing? I never said that. Really? Are you sure? Back when we were in the AB room, you said you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. Impossible. There's no way that would get past Zero. And there's no way Zero would let anybody do something that would get in the way of the game going forward. Um... What? When you say Zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. From now on, let's refer to the real Zero, the one behind all of this, as Zero Senior. Which would, of course, Make the AI Zero Junior. Okay, fine with me. Anyway, whichever one it is, they're not going to let a tenth person in. There's no way. <laughs> I don't think it could be. Well, Zero Junior said so. He said that the real Zero was one of us. Bracelet. We've only got four minutes until the chromatic doors open! Let's go then. You're right. This bomb thing is gonna have to wait until later. <laughs> Thank you. 
Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. <laughs> We don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. Just pay attention. I'm only gonna say this once. here or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? The people who only have one BP. No way! I refuse! We'll be fair and take a vote. Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me! So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. I'm sure. I really don't mind. Then we've got three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. Hmm. How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. <laughs> Which one do you want, Clover? I... um... I want to go with option C. Clark chose Ally in the first round, and I was with Kay in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. The doors are closing. Let's go! Right. Closing. 
It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Try pulling it. Hey, what's with all this hostility? Are you still mad about the last AB game? Please don't fight. We need to work together, or we're really going to be in trouble. Please? Hmm. Very well. I'll pull the lever then. Is that okay? Yeah, go right ahead. See if I care. I wonder how you 